What's up, guys? It's Jordan and Shelby from Blackboard Japan, and we have our two factory manual ES300s right here with us. This one being a 1992, and this one being a 1993. And today, the white one is going to get its own coilovers. So yeah, so now we're just going to get on to installing these, and I'll show you guys a little bit more of these coilovers up close. So here are the new coilovers, still in the box. Came with a bunch of stuff. Banner wrenches, looks like these are the dampener adjusters and some rubber bushings. Not sure where those go, but we'll kind of figure that out. Not sure what these brackets are for either, maybe for the brake lines or something. And then these go on the sway bar and links. See, this is a camber adjustment right here. See how this one's an oval? Mm -hmm. So that means you can push this in or out whichever way you want to go and then tighten the bolt down. Same with this, this has it as well. Nice. So we tried to max out the camber mm -hmm. because you can't very get very much camber on these cars to begin with, but you have to be careful when you max in the negative camber uh, that the wheel doesn't touch the coilover itself. So. so Shelby's gonna take all the wheels off now that we got the car up in the air. And I think I'm gonna start with taking the back seats out. easy so I got the bottom of the seat out just by lifting it up on the three clips and then pulling it right on out now this guy the back part is pulled in by a couple bolts here one here definitely one over there Easy peasy. And that's the top three bolts for the strut. Okay guys, so we got the sway bar and links off the rears. Now we're just doing the two main bolts down here for the uh, strut. So what I got is a 19 with an extension. God damn. My God. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? That was insane. Dude, that like shocked my hands, bro. Holy shit. That was actually insane. And this didn't break or anything. That was crazy. Let's try again. I say we loosen the main bolts for the fronts as well. So we can kind of just do all of them at once. So we'll loosen the front two bolts as well right now. And then I'll go around and do all the top hat bolts and then just drop them all. <laughs> God damn, these are fucking beasts. Okay, is one tight? One's tight. All right, so now all four coilovers are in. Uh, it's getting dark and it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna put the camera away and start to tighten everything. And when I go to tighten everything, I'm just gonna put a little pressure pushing in so I can get the maximum negative camber out of all four sides um, before I tighten the bolts. Okay, so we ran out of daylight, but we got the car on the ground. Um, the rears were hitting the coilover once we did the max camber thing. Now we just need one inch spacers all around and then we need to roll these fenders and then adjust a little bit more. But as of right now, it looks pretty decent. What's up guys? It's day two of the coilover install video on our 1992 factory manual ES300. Um, we ran out of daylight yesterday, so today we're gonna finish the job. We are basically cutting the fenders and then putting spacers on to clear the tires from rubbing the coilover. So I already cut the front fender and basically just took the little guy off here and then cleaned up the edge and made it to where there's nothing that can rub on the tire. I swear I did it myself. Now 
we have to do a quick pit stop run to Harbor Freight to grab more cutoff wheels because I only had two really old used wheels and the back fenders um, were pretty thick. So they are eating up the wheels like crazy and I need to get some more. So we're gonna take our other factory main wheel, 1993 ES300 down there on the same coilovers that we were putting our white one on. And we'll show you guys how this thing drives. We just put a new manual transmission in this ES300. Um, check it out, it's in our last, most recent YouTube video. This thing has a Vertex wheel, works bell quick release, D2 coilovers, it's on Advan AVS Model 5s, it's factory manual, and that's about it. It's just a really clean, cool little daily that not a lot of people have. They are front wheel drive, they are V6, but you know, it, it gets up and moves when it needs to. It's, it's a fun little daily to, to drive around. It's got great handling, it's good in the corners, and uh, it's definitely not super slow. Second to third right there, a little quickie. Alright, so we got our coil overs on. Um, we got the wheels, we did it how we want to so far. Um, and then now we're going to try it. Sweet. I love the yellow slogs. Cruising to the cool spot. Got turbo with us. Hopped up that Billy truck. You doing your thing, baby, live it up You showing that and you don't give a fuck It's the radio, gonna touch your toes Alright, so we had to come out to our favorite spot Check this out She get money out that pussy and she clown her pawn You got two choices, either heaven or hell huh. Meanwhile, put that dope on the scale Awesome views here, guys. Awesome views. Alright, guys. So, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you liked our little coilover install and our cool little cruise to this cool spot in downtown Portland. Subscribe for more content. Peace out. Can't trust, you think I'm in love with lust She look possessed, gon' get it off your chest She asked to read my text, looking in her eyes she stressed